Hello everyone, it's me again, Teacher She. Today, we are going to discuss about complement of a set. So what is complement of a set? It is the elements that are in the universal set but not in the given set. The complement of set A is denoted by A with apostrophe. So remember that, ha? Huh? So to understand it further, I have here an example. So, for example, we have u is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And a is equal to 2 and 4. Now, we are going to find a complement. To get a complement, we are going to remove all the elements in a that can be found in the universal set. So, a complement is equal to u minus a. Again, remove every element in A that can be found in universal set. So now, what is the elements in U? So they are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Minus the elements in A. So what are those? 2 and 4. Now, we are going to... Remove the elements in A that can be found in U. So, remove 2 and 4. So, now, what are the elements left in the universal set? Yes, 1, 3, 5. So, therefore, A complement is equal to 1, 3, 5. Easy, right? Next example. If U is equal to... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And B is equal to 5, 6, 7. Now we are going to find the B complement. Again, we are going to subtract or remove the elements in B that can be found in U. So, B is equal to the elements of universal set, which is 1 to 10, minus the elements in B. So, that is 5, 6, 7. So, again, remove all the elements in B that can be found in U. So, what are those? 5, 6, and 7. So, now... What are the elements left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 9, 10. So, therefore, B complement is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 9, 10. Another example, if U is equal to 1, 2, 3, and C is equal to empty set, now we are going to find C complement. Again, to get the C complement, you are going to remove the elements in C that can be found in U. Now, observe that C is the unempty set. So, therefore, C complement is equal to the elements of universal set, which is 1, 2, 3, minus the elements in C. We all know that empty set has no elements. So, empty set pa rin ang ilalagay natin. So, therefore, wala tayong ibabawas doon sa universal set. So, walang mawawala sa universal set. So, our final answer or the C complement is also 1, 2, 3. Okay? Kasi wala namang pwedeng i-remove na elements kay universal set. Okay, next. Let's have a practice. If u is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and a is equal to 2, 4, 6, b is equal to 1, 3, 5, c is equal to 1, 2, 3. Now, we are going to find the a complement. B complement and C complement. Okay, let's try. So, uh, uh, number one, if U is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
and A is equal to 2, 4, 6. Now, we are going to find the A complement. So, what is A complement? Again, we are going to remove the elements in A that can be found in U. So, A complement is equal to 1, 3, 5, 7. Okay, now, how about B complement? If B is equal to 1, 3, 5 and the universal set, set is the same, which is 1 to 7, so what is B complement? B complement is equal to 2, 4, 6, 7. Okay, next. How about C complement? If C is equal to 1, 2, 3, and again, we are going to use the universal set, which is 1, 2, 3, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, C complement is equal to 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, now, let's illustrate the complement of a set using Venn diagram. So, for example, we have U is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And A is equal to 2 and 4. Now, we are going to find the A complement. So, first, make a rectangle to represent the universal set. So, what are the elements of universal set? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. How about the elements of set A? 2 and 4. We all know that circle represents the set. So, it will be like this. Now, to illustrate complement of the set, the shaded region will be your answer. Therefore, A complement is equal to 6, 8, 10. Example number 2. If U is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And B is equal to 4, 6, 8. Now, we are going to find the B complement. Again, you are going to make a representation of a universal set, which is the rectangle. And then, write the elements of the universal set inside the rectangle. So, what are those? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Now, what are the elements of set B? So, 4, 6, 8. So, always remember, circle represents the set B. So, the shaded region will be your final answer or the B complement. So, what is the B complement? B complement is equal to 2 and 10. Another one. If U is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And C is equal to 2, 4, 6, 10. So what is C complement? Again, you are going to make a representation which is the rectangle for the universal set so the elements of the universal sets are 2 4 6 8 10 now what is c c is equal to 2 4 6 10 now what is the shaded region it will be like this so the shaded region will be your final answer so, the C complement is equal to 8. Okay, now it's your turn. You can pause the video to answer the activity. So, if U is equal to 1 to 10, and A is equal to 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and B is equal to 3, 6, 9. So, find A complement and B complement. Now, let's check. So, U is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And A is equal to 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So, what will be your representation? It will be like this. So, what is A complement? A complement is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Very good. And now, how about the B complement? We're going to use again the U as uh, equal to 1 to 10, ha? Huh? So, B is equal to 3, 6, 9. So, what will be your illustration with the complement? 
using the Venn diagram, it will be like this. So, the shaded region will be your answer. Now, the B complement is equal to, yes, 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, and 10. So, that's all for today. Next lesson, difference of two sets. Thank you for watching.